Hello everybody, welcome to the Late Night Frogs. I'm Chris Brock, member, and today, uh, this is our remake theme. It's finishing off with me, and if you've not watched the other members' videos, go check them out. Go check out their videos. Um, I really enjoyed uh, watching their rants, man. It was great, so hopefully I can do a great rant for you guys. Um, but pretty much the remake theme is we take our favorite remake of all time and our least favorite remake of all time and tell you guys um, what we enjoy about them and what we don't. Uh, what we enjoy about their favorite and what we don't enjoy about our least favorite, obviously. Um, before I get down on this, this is just my personal opinion, guys. Um, you know, everybody's in the, entitled to their own opinions. You know, just please respect my opinion. You know, like I said, if you're, uh, uh, my favorite remake is your least favorite, that's totally cool. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And if my uh, favorite remake is your least favorite, again, that's totally cool. Everybody has their own opinions and you know, I respect your opinion, you respect mine. Um, what is my favorite remake of all time? Um, it was pretty hard. I had to choose between uh, two films I really enjoy, who I think, uh, well, I think are the top remake dogs. Um, <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2003 one, and uh, The Hills Have Eyes. I thought those are two great remakes. Um, and yeah, it was kind of hard to choose between which one, um, you know, I wanted to pick as my favorite. Uh, but which one was more fresher in my, you know, in my memory, and that was Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2003 one. So, what do I like about this film? Uh, Leatherface looked awesome in this one. Uh, the mask was great. Uh, you know, I thought his physical appearance was good. Uh, you know, he was really intimidating. Um, he was just brutal in this film. He was really brutal. I like a lot of the kills in this film. The acting was good. You have Jessica Biel in this one. I thought she did a good job. So, the acting was solid. Um, the plot, it was simple, it was good, enjoyed it, it was nothing stupid, uh, <coughs> Taste of Chainsaw Massacre 3D, um, sorry, uh, the plot was, uh, good, um, and the sheriff, I, I really like the sheriff, dude, he was funny, but he was a douchebag, but he was funny, uh, but like I said, man, there's so many, uh, good things about this film, I'm not saying it's a great film, but, uh, it could have turned out a whole lot worse, <coughs> Taste of Chainsaw Massacre 3D, um, sorry, I have a bad cough today, um, it was a good film. I enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining. Uh, Leatherface looked awesome uh, when I was a little kid. Uh, you know, back in '03, uh, I was scared of him because the mask looked awesome. I thought the mask was one of the better masks in the franchise, even though it's technically a reboot. I still consider uh, all the Leatherface films or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films one big franchise. Uh, it's one of the better masks. Uh, the acting was good. Really, pref uh, really liked uh, Jessica Biel's performance. And it was just really believable that they was in the situation that they were. Uh, so yeah, they done good acting. Uh, the sheriff dude, he was funny. I liked him, like I said. And uh, they didn't really change up the character of Leatherface like drastically. That made you like, oh man, why would you do that? Uh, he pretty much had the characteristics that he had in the original. And the only thing is, different is they changed his name from Bubba Sawyer to Thomas Hewitt. Which uh, I really don't mind because I kind of like that name. I don't like it better than Bubba Sawyer, but I like it a whole lot better than Jedediah or Jedediah, whatever his name was in Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Texas Chainsaw 3D. It's so stupid having to say Texas Chainsaw 3D and not having the massacre at the end, by the way. Um, but like I said, I enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining. Had uh, uh, one of the better Leatherface performances or portrayals. I mean, I like the guy who played him. Uh, the acting was good. I like the lead lady, Jessica Biel. Uh, the kills are good. Leatherface is brutal. And the sheriff dude was awesome. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed that film. It was a great film. Or a great remake. Not a great film. Uh, pretty good film though. Um, what is my least favorite remake of all time? That is a Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 remake. Um, I'm going to go a little rant mode here. I, I, I've never done a rant, so this will probably be a little iffy rant. But, um... Okay, so, yeah, right, I'm going to tell you guys which backstory, or I'm going to tell you each backstory, um, you know, of both films. I'm going to tell you both of the backstories, and, you know, you tell me, guys, uh, you guys, which one's better? Which is a better backstory? Which one is more creepy? Which one's more scarier? Which one's just overall better backstory? Okay, so, the remake. Freddy Krueger is a preschool gardener living in a preschool basement. And he's a child molester. Okay, so what is scary about a preschool gardener living in a preschool basement? 
You're freaking serious. Okay, so in the remake, or not in the remake, uh, in the original, uh, he is, before he is Freddy Krueger, the, the dream demon, as we know him all to be, uh, he was the infamous Springwood slasher. He killed uh, little kids. Sorry, nose running, I'm sick today. He uh, killed little kids. Uh, I don't know how many he killed, but he was a Springwood slasher. He probably killed, I think they said uh, the estimate was, I think, 20 kids. Uh, so, I think that's just a, a better backstory, in my opinion. The Springwood slasher, he killed kids. He was no gardener. He didn't live in no preschool basement. Uh, he was, oh, I don't know. I don't know if he was a child molester in that one or not. I don't know if that was Wes Craven's, you know, true vision for Freddy Krueger. He kind of did seem like he, uh, you know, could be a child molester because Freddy Krueger is a sick dude. Um, <laughs> we all know that. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, um, the remake backstory, he's a preschool gardener living in the preschool basement. How stupid is that? And he molests his little kids. That's not a scary backstory. That just seems like a... Ugh. That's not scary at all. He's a preschool gardener. Living in a preschool basement. Okay. Ooh, you have me scared out of my socks. Um, something else. Uh, the makeup. Whose idea was the makeup? Seriously, the makeup is god awful. He looks like an alien or a turtle, guys. An alien or a turtle, whichever one. Pick, pick whichever one you want. He looks like an alien or a turtle. And they're like, oh, we're supposed to make him look more like a burned victim. Okay, maybe he might look a little more like a burned victim than Robert England's Freddy Krueger. But at least Robert England's Freddy Krueger is scary. This one, he looks like an alien or a turtle. The makeup is horrendous. Uh, it's laughable. To be quite honest, um, I did not find him scary one bit. And the laugh and the voice. Um, I have nothing against Jack Earl Haley. I think he's a pretty good actor, but in this role, I really didn't like him. But I don't think he did a bad job. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can say that. Because he'll he'll never touch Robert Dean as Freddy Krueger. I'll just lay that out there. Um, I really don't, you really can't blame him for the makeup, but the voice and the laugh, maybe you can, but it could have been, like, you know, the studio, and, you know, all the producers and everything, telling him to do that, because, you know, obviously they run the show. Um, the laugh and the voice, uh, seriously, the voice was awful. It would have been cool if he would have used that as a whisper, you know, you were always my favorite. You know, if he would have used that as a whisper, and not his primary voice. Uh, because you could not hardly hear him. It's like, uh, huh? Speak up? I, I, I didn't catch that. Uh, what? You know, you just couldn't hear him. Like, it was just a low voice and wasn't creepy at all. It would have been better as a whisper. But that was his main voice. I thought that was stupid. Um, the laugh was... <gasps> that was his laugh. I was like, what the... F That's so stupid. <laughs> he sounds like a constipated 90-year-old. Like, come on, dude. Freddy Krueger, uh, Robert England's laugh was so much better, miles better of that than that laugh, man. That was so stupid. Um, I have nothing else to say about the portrayal of Freddy Krueger. Um, the makeup was awful, the voice was awful, and um, the laugh was awful. Okay, so the main character, Nancy. Nancy Thompson? No, her name's not Nancy Thompson in this one. It's Nancy something. I forgot because this film is a piece of crap. Um, the girl who played her, like, I don't know her name, uh, Rooney something, um, she's awful. Her performance was lifeless. Uh, she was a loner, she was like this gothic chick, and in the original, Nancy's supposed to be, uh, all of her friends die off, and she just becomes this hardened, uh, hardened, you know, just, she just goes to a whole nother level. She just turns into the survivalist. She takes on Freddy by herself, and she sets all these traps up. And she's ready for Freddy, dude. And she takes it to Freddy Krueger. She defeats him. And this one, she's just awful. She's not. Even, she don't even feel like a main character. She don't at all. Her performance is just lifeless. I, I hated her acting. Uh, the guy who played Quentin felt like a more main character than uh, 
Nancy did. Uh, the kills are just average. Pretty much, uh, I remember a neck slit, and I remember uh, a glove going through a guy, bursting through a guy's chest. That's pretty much, it was just repeat and repeat and repeat. That's the same kills. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this rant. It's going on 10 minutes, so, you know, that's why I dislike A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, the 2010 remake is spit on the face of the original, and the original will always be better. In my opinion, my personal opinion, if you do enjoy this film, that's totally cool. I respect your opinion. But in my personal opinion, I don't like it. It's my least favorite remake. And, uh, yeah. And like I said, um, if you don't like uh, my favorite remake of all time, the Texas Chainsaw Master 2003 remake, that's totally cool. I personally enjoy that film. It's my favorite remake. But, yeah, guys. Uh, just leave your opinions down below. Do you like my favorite remake? Do you dislike it? Do you like my least favorite remake? Or do you dislike it as well? Just leave your comments down below, guys. And like, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.